guys, how's it going? I'm Dizia, and today I'm going to be bringing my first ever Formula 1 video. I've just got the game today, and yeah, you know, I've had a bit of a mess about with the uh, Grand Prix, you know, just quick races, just to have a quick feel with the game, and uh, I've had a nice little play with the classic mode. And, yeah, we're going to be doing the Young Drivers Test today, so let's hope I do well. This is the first um, of other episodes to come, or parts of this career mode that I'll be doing on my channel. Uh, I did want to do this with Formula 1 2012, but at the time my PVR broke. <coughs> ah! So, yeah, I'm only a few weeks, well, about two or three weeks late. So, yeah, let's kick it off. Right then, I've chosen to go with Red Bull, um, but if I had a choice to, I would have gone with Mercedes, because th that's my favourite team. But I went with Red Bull because they've got the almighty dominant Vettel. So, they've got to be doing something right there if he's won the championship four times. Now let's do the wet track braking test. So this will be the first time um, I've ever been on a wet track. I bet you he's using ABS to brake. Right then. Oh, let's see. Um, yeah, um, with Formula 1 um, from 2010 I used Amateur, 2011 I used Intermediate, and in 2012 I used Professional. Now, since we go up and up and up, I've decided if I'm going to do a YouTube video, might as well put it on Legendary with no assists. Well, I normally drive without assists, except I put the gearbox on automatic since I've got a controller and not a steering wheel. So I do find steering it a bit harder because I can't hold it. So mostly um, you'll hear like, which is me flicking the stick, which I find is very effective technique to keep the car on the track if you're suffering from oversteer. So yeah, here we go. Bloody hell, a lot of wheel spin, especially in the rain. Didn't expect it to be that much. Come on, change gear. Get up. Come on, boy. Let's get up. Go on. Go on, son. Go on. Right. Okay, where should I break? I'll break about the, this 200 you saying, oh god, oh god, oh god, don't break, don't break, don't lock the brakes. Silver medal. Yes. If I got it under 21 seconds, I would have had gold. Ugh. Don't worry. Uh, I need to do well. <sighs> right, what does this one ask me to do? Oh, through a number of corners in the way. Crap. So we want you to drive the last sector of the lap and hit every apex. Braking distances are increased in the I hate that corner there. I lock all the time in 2012. So be careful when you exit corners. Um okay. I can't even go around the track properly um, in the dry, never alone in the wet. Yeah, well, this would be good fun. Oh god. Right, so we go around this left, then another left to break after you've hit the apex, so you leave yourself enough chance so you don't like your brakes. Clip that apex there, and this, I missed that apex. Damn it, but then you need to position yourself for the next corner, which I have done beautifully. Um, then here, I've noticed that there's a lot of grip here, which is surprisingly, especially in the wet. I think I missed it. Ooh, no, I haven't. Ah. Silver! Good, yeah, baby. Yeah, sorry if I'm a bit hyped up. I think uh, I've had a bit too much Red Bulls. Ah! Oh, I just noticed I'm in a Red Bull car. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right then. 9 out of 43 so far. Optimal 
racing line as much as possible to avoid picking up dirt or marbles, which will degrade the handling of the car. Right then, with... Okay, should be easy. Thought I'd overcook that corner there. Lovely, but doesn't help that I got the racing line on, does it? So it tells me where to break. Wow, see curbs, I find they really drag you into a corner. Like, say if you use them correctly. Um, yes, gold! Oh my god, I, I don't care what I'm saying, gold! Yeah, baby. Uh huh. Gold. Yeah, I don't care because I have the racing I don't. Yeah. <laughs> like you say, ball. Tire wear. Oh, God. Yeah. Um. What was I saying? I don't even know. Understanding how your car handles with heavily oh. degraded tires is extremely important and may mean the difference between meeting and exceeding your team's objectives or failing them. As the tyres begin to wear, the car may begin to slide and lose grip. This can make the car difficult to handle and increase the chance of spinning. It's important to understand when you can drive a few more laps on a set of tyres, or when it's time to come in and pit. We've put a set of worn tyres on your car, and we want you to drive the last sector of the lap and hit every apex. That's a bit, you know, asking for too much here. I think I've got a bit too tight there. Yeah, I am. Caused me to go a bit too deep here. Ooh, hit that lovely. Oh, hit. Ooh, lock the brakes. I missed that apex just because of curbs. Just because of curbs. Yeah, ah, curbs. Yeah. If you use them correctly, oh, they'll be the best thing in the game. But if they're against you, please, my TV's got off. Yeah, uh, as I was saying. If you use them correctly, oh, mate, you're going to gain so much time. But if you overuse them, yeah, as you could, as you've seen in some replays in this, um, the car gets dragged in, which could be a bad thing if it's on the outside, like you've just seen earlier. But yeah, it can really help you if, say, you want to go around the corner and it's going to hug you like a koala bear. Like a koala bear. Meh. I know what it wants me to do. Go da 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 da. Break at the hundred meter. Oh, I missed the apex. Don't worry, don't worry. At least I did miss. How oh, did I miss that one, eh? Oh well. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, I used the four by curse then. Oh god, I forgot I had DRS there. Oh, that was a lovely cornering there. Oh. Oh, Kraft is on a roll. He's just got a bit wide there. Oh, a bit of oversteer. Right, right then. If I get hooked in, you'll know why, because I'm using too much. See, I got hooked there by the curbs, which is what I was trying to demonstrate. Come on, baby. 
Silver again! Must be Great Britain. Silver, silver, silver. Rarely you ever see gold. Evaluation pop. Oh, it's going to do two laps now. Yeah. Right then. Two laps, here we come. Okay, it's been a great right. couple of days. The last thing we want you to do is experience a race start and then complete two laps. When the lights go out, pull away and drive the lap using all the techniques you've learned so far. We'll be timing you, so give it your all. Here we go. Lovely start, no. Right. Lovely first corner then. Now we go into the S's here. Which is a probably the high speed corner, the quickest corner of the whole track. Now here is crucial, you've got to break at the hundred meter marking. It does help if you wanna you know, if you're a beginner. Uh, you don't want to go too far out because you've unless you miss the apex like I've just done there. And remember, don't put the power down too early, otherwise you will experience some nice, you know, wheel spin. Now you're on the straight now. DRS fully activated. Now with DRS, you want to break at the 150 for beginners, and then gain your confidence and break later and later. That's how I found. Well, that's what I'm finding now. And in most Formula One games, that's how it works. Right then, can I get behind this guy? How effective is DRS in this game? Rossi, hello mate. Oh, lovely indicate there. Take the inside line, going a bit in tight. Use a bit of a curse, a lovely exit. As soon as you hit this corner, break. You don't want to break too hard, otherwise you're going to lock your brakes. Put the power down slowly so you don't do wheel spin, because that corner there, especially, is where you're going to be doing the most wheel spin. Put the power down flat out, and don't go with the curb too much, otherwise you'll save me in the last trial, and I get hooked in. Oh, I get put a bit wide because of the turbulence of the car ahead. But otherwise, yeah, doing well, Turvy. Break. Oh, go a bit wide there. But yeah, I've got to follow, get his slipstream. Am I going to go on the outside? Oh, I try to, but it's... Wrong thing, wrong thing. Trying to break 100 metres. Oh, nearly hit him. Nearly made contact. Oh, go around the outside so I get the inside of the this lovely hairpin. Put the power down slowly and apply curves. DRS activation zone, so I activate it. Lovely speed, going about 185 now. Lovely break in there. Oh, put the power down a bit too early. Wheel spinning a lot, a bit too aggressive on the power. But let me try and catch the guy ahead. Oh, Prost. Hey, shouldn't you be retired now, mate, eh? Get off the track. Oh, I've clipped him, I've clipped him. Made contact. Oh, aggressive dive on the inside. Too aggressive. Too aggressive. And apply curves and cross the line. Nice. Silver medal there. Your line and corner speeds are good. I would need it to go four and a half seconds quicker. The, so I've unlocked basically Force India. You get Marisha, Catrum and Toro Rosso first. Hmm. So yeah, that's the end of the Young's Drivers test. You know, Kraft, which is my character, has been put through the paces and he's earned a seat in one of those four teams 
Now, which team will I choose? Well, fortunate to say you'll have to find out in the next episode and the next part where I'll be deciding which team I choose and you'll see me race for that team for the first time in Albert Park in Melbourne. But until then, I've been DZR and I'll catch you guys later. Ta-da!